Hi guys, welcome to Chef Chikoni. Today we are preparing pilau and that means we are taking your chest buds all the way to Mombasa. <laughs> so we are just going to go through our ingredients and then we start cooking. We have our ingredients here. So this is one teaspoon of garlic and one teaspoon of ginger. These are uh, two and a half teaspoons of whole pilau spices which in which include cumin seeds black pepper clove cardamom and cinnamon and these are two teaspoons of um what's pilau masala powder these are our onions and these are two cups of rice so today we are making pilau for four people which are two cups and then we have our already boiled meat here this is our cooking oil and this is our salt so let's dig in So this is the sufria that we use to cook our to boil our meat so it's just fine to use it so that the flavor is maintained we're just going to put in our oil please remember that pilau needs a little bit too much oil than kawaii rice so that ikai poa you know? so our oil is heating up sure it's hot enough before you put your onions our oil is now hot enough so we can just put in our onions going to cook our onions until they brown so our onions are slowly browning now we are going to put in whole pilau masala spices one thing you should note when you're putting the whole spices reduce the cloves these are the cloves they are the things that make your pilau bitter i'm sure some of you have maybe had that experience it's this that makes your pilau bitter so reduce the cloves and add the cumin it makes, makes the pilau very sweet so we're just going to put in our whole spices. And now begin to give it a good stir. Now you put in your powder, these are two teaspoons. You can grind them with your grinder, it's even much better. So it's basically the same thing, just grinded, grounded. Um, put all of it in. And then put in your garlic. When the garlic and ginger cook so much, it loses the taste. So you put it almost last. So there we go. Mm, the aroma <laughs> now we, we are going to put in our ready boiled meat you can use mutton beef we are using beef and it's pre-boiled as you can see the whole spices are beginning to darken a bit this gives pilau that nice almost brown color but it's not supposed to be dark also please don't use soy sauce Part because your spices and onions are browned, you can reduce the heat and let the meat first become crunchy so that when you eat it, it's not soft like you're eating a sponge. So we let it brown. You can actually cover it. So our meat is a bit crunchy. We can put in the rice. These are two cups of rice. So just put in your rice. And give a good stir. Give 
give a good stir until it looks fried. And then now put in your salt. This one you measure with eyes. <laughs> That's like almost one and one teaspoon or one and a half. Give a good mix. You see the rice is already getting the brown color and then it's shining so well. Now at this point we are going to put in our water cold water so this is the cup that we use to measure so because we use two cups of rice we're going to put in four cups of cold water one cup of rice um, consumes two cups of water so one two three four So give a good stir. And then cover. And don't put it on high heat as the rice will drop before the rice cooks. The water will drop before the rice cooks. So just um, medium heat is okay. Um, we can just adjust. Yeah, that is fine. So let it cook. Also, today I just don't have foil paper, but if you have foil paper, it's good to use it too to cover the rice so that all the steam cooks the rice. So as our pilau is cooking, we are going to prepare our guacamole. So we have our onions, we have our tomatoes, and just our avocado and salt. So um, we are going to wash our onions with salt to remove that bitter taste and the strong smell. So um, you take your salt, lots of salt, lots, lots, lots. Mix it well. We're just going to mix it here because we'll still rinse it here. Mix it, mix it. Until you feel it beginning to soften. Once you've mixed it well, let it sit for three minutes so that the salt can absorb all the water from the onions. And then we'll go to the next step. So our onions are now very soft. We put it on a sieve. And now give it a good rinse until all the water is washed out. All the salt is washed out. So keep rinsing. And now they are clean because you cannot see any salt on the sieve. Now ready for mixing to the kachumbari. Now take your onions and put them in the bowl that you're going to use. Put in your tomatoes. And now the most precious moment on this video. Cutting the avocado. avocado. Mm. Private school. So take a spoon. all of it without mercy because you have worked hard for this money <laughs> ah. Now give it a good mix.
and now our guacamole is ready so put in just a little bit of salt not too much also those who love pili pili you can add it's for me no 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 and guacamole is ready let's now wait for pilau so that we munch munch this food So our uh, rice has dried up, as you can see no more water, so you can put the gas off to let the steam dry the rice. That is where now mchele natoka boja boja. And our guacamole is sitting here pretty, pretty waiting for our pilau. Yum, yum. So we have let our rice, our, pi, our pilau sit for like five minutes. Now it's ready. And we're just going to serve it and then indulge. So thank you for tuning in and cooking pilau with me and watch out my channel for other recipes. Thank you and keep it chapikoni.